this gas, you, you notice when, when I put this in here and I start it to cook, I've got this, this hose that goes to nowhere, right? And what I, and a little valve here, and I'll put a bottle of water on here, okay? And then I'll open this valve, and I'm gonna bleed off all the oxygen in here. I get rid of that oxygen, because without, I, want, I don't want it there, because without oxygen, it's now safe. It's not gonna cause any problems, no, no danger of it blowing up or anything, and no smell. I've gotten rid of no no odor whatsoever. So then, when it's done, when it's done bubbling, I'll notice that I've got the water there. It's not bubbling anymore. Shut that valve off. Open this valve up, and I'm going to make gas. How do I know I got gas? I got this inner tube. This inner tube is there only as an indicator. When this inner tube fills up, starts to fill up with gas, I know I'm making gas, right? So then I change it over to here, and I've got this drum that's floating in water. And it's, it's, it's got gas in here. And the higher this floats in the water, the more gas I have. Then I have a burner over here. And I like this, and I'm cooking with clean gas, a nice blue flame, no smoke, no more gathering wood. And, and, and this changes somebody's life. A drum like this will last for about two months. So I'm gonna uh, say, uh, it takes about a, a couple of weeks to get going. So once, uh, let's say about a month and a half or into this, when this drum, I'm going to make another drum so that I can go back and forth between these drums and always have clean gas, no more burning wood, no, you know, you can go to school now, <laughs> no more gathering wood, and it just, it just makes somebody's life a lot, a lot better. So, you, you can use cow manure, goat manure, pig manure, you can use them all, but it, it, cow manure works the best, those buggers are gassy, but, uh, <laughs> But any manure will work, but you may have to change the ratio of how much I use per water depending on what type I use. Well, you, you go to a developing world village and you supply these kits, these kits? Well, what you do, yeah, you, you would, uh, I mean, if you've got some investment here, you're going to have to buy barrels, okay? Yeah. You're not going to go to a dump and find a barrel because you don't know if it leaks or not. It's probably thrown out because it leaks. So I, I, this barrel can't leak. So I've got to have a good barrel. I'm going to have a couple of good barrels, and then I'm going to need some hardware to, to, and, and a little burner plate, etc. But once you got this, and now I'm 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 really I'm I'm cooking with not for nothing, okay? Because I'm just using my manure for my animals and uh, water, and it, I'm making gas. I farm somewhere, and I don't have any water from my barn, okay? So I'm at my barn. I'm working with my animals. I'm working with a bunch of stuff. I'm all filthy dirty, right? I want to get cleaned up. So I come out here, I put this with a, a, a bottle, a, a, a jug uh, from a detergent. I have a little hole drilled here, a string of the foot pedal. I come over here, I tip down, I wash my hands. I got my soap here, I wash them off, I rinse them off, and I'm good to go. You, know, you can put this anywhere. Anywhere I don't have a, a supply of water, I now have a supply of water. It's only got one itty bitty problem. You have to remember fill it. You don't yeah. fill it, it don't work. But as long as you do that, you can have water for washing and cleaning anywhere you want. And it's, up, it's not expensive at all. You know? Imagine how many of these you throw away all the time. There. That's pure blue gas. And there is no smell. Wow. You don't believe me that that's pure blue flame. Put your hand in there. <laughs> <laughs> okay. See, there's no smell. And it is all free. And this size of a bio, if it is done properly for a family of four, uh, they don't cook as often and as long as we do. It usually provides enough for three to three and a half months of cooking and that is wow. a lot of wow. gas all free it's just a matter of who's gonna collect the poopies for today <laughs> and if you can imagine a family that would be buying firewood or biochar how much savings they're gonna have for a lot of other things